President Trump meets with House Republicans today, facing growing out outrage over his zero-tolerance immigration policy. Department of Homeland Security figures show 2,342 children were separated from parents at the border from May 5th to June 9th. The Trump administration still insists Congress is responsible, while more Republicans are speaking out against the administration policy. Ed O'Keefe is on Capitol Hill. Ed, good morning. Good morning, guys. The president is meeting with GOP lawmakers today to talk about broader issues of immigration policy, not just those families separated at the border. There are two competing proposals on the table that the House is set to vote on this week, but neither has even enough Republican support to pass right now. That could change today if the president endorses either plan. There's now also a separate proposal from Republican Texas Senator Ted Cruz that would reunite those families. His plan would, among other things, authorize new temporary shelters, double the number of immigration judges, reunite those families, and ensure that asylum seekers are processed within 14 days. Whether or not Cruz can actually find enough support for this among Democrats remains unclear, but the fact that it would reunite those families and address long-held concerns about a backlog of asylum cases suggests it might have a chance. Alex? Uh, uh, thanks. A lot of eyes on that le legislation today.